What's going on guys? Clutch here. Welcome back to Oakfield Farms. Uh, yeah, it is time to do this. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. This is not good. Anyways, we're going to be diving into this right away. Uh, let me get set up and we're going to head out to the forest. Let's go cut some trees down. Bitter batter. Clutch simulations. All right, guys, before we go up, let me just quickly show you what we've got for equipment ready to go here. We spent a little over a million bucks. A million bucks. Man, I spent so much money on this stuff. It's so expensive to get into the forestry stuff, I tell you. It is kind of crazy. So there's not a lot of trees on Oakfield, but we bought the forested area as well. So the equipment and the land cost us a little over a million bucks. Yeah, that's what happens. you got to spend some cash, I guess, to make some money. Uh, over here, we've got, what is this, the 3200 series John Deere telehandler. We're going to go with a telehandler instead of a front end loader, just because you can raise it a little bit higher, obviously, with the telehandler. might help us get logs into the back of this uh, log trailer, is what I'm hoping. We'll see how that works out. I don't know. It might work. It might not. But that's what we're going to use. Um, this is actually just a reskinned uh, Massey Ferguson, but hey, reverse lights are on. Hmm, strange. Anyways, looks cool. I like the fact it's John Deere. That's the first John Deere equipment we've got on Oakfield is all this stuff, guys. So it should be all right. Um, let's start over here. Now we've got another MAN truck. This one here, of course, is, uh, I don't know what series this one off the top of my head. Is it 26640? But it's got the, uh, well, the connection point back here. So we'll be able to pick up logs with that. Of course, we've gone with the full cab as well because that just looks cooler, the SB cab. Um, I don't know if that would work all that well in this case because it's so long to get back to this trailer. I think we've got too big of a trailer for this, but that is what it is. So we'll, we'll try that. We'll see if that works. If not, well, that's what the whole John Deere is for, right? Now, in back here, the 1170. The 1170G, there is one that's a little bit more expensive. This was the cheaper model. I think it's a 1200 series uh, John Deere. Um... Yeah, this, the other, that one has a bigger tire on the back. It's a single tire. This one just has doubles. I didn't think we needed to spend the extra. It's like 75, 80 grand for that. And we just went with the cheaper one. So I think this is going to do the same work. It looks like it was pretty close. The other specs are almost identical, guys. So I thought this would be just enough for what we're going to be doing with it at least. We'll try it out. Hopefully it does the trick. Of course, we've gone with chains. Something a bit different. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, now... This trailer I'm using is actually pretty awesome. It's got extensions on the side that get stored up on top here when we're not using them, which is nice. But uh, look at how many axles we get on this. And these are turnable axles. It's a dual trailer. Not bad. Pretty cool looking trailer. Expendables modding trailer. Fantastic. But uh, that grows great. And kind of the piece to the resistance, if you will, is this truck. I love this Scania. I just found it and I was like, oh man, this thing is awesome. Let me just jump inside here. Watch this. Look at the hazards on. Look at the LED hazard lights. They look so good. And then even more so, the beacons. Oh, man, look at that. Get some watch these lights fired up here. The lighting on this thing is awesome. Fantastic job. Such a good-looking truck. All right. So as for what we got going on today, well, the forest actually is just kind of, well, in behind uh, Willowbrook stores here. So we've got to head up into the hills. Uh, it's going to be a fight to get this Scania up there. I'm not sure. I might scout it out first with the MAN and we'll see exactly where we end up. And hopefully we can get the Scania up there, uh, get a load of logs and see what we get paid. I know that that's going to be the best way. The longer that piece of wood is, the longer that, st uh, that log is, the more money we're going to get. So if I can fill this trailer up, hopefully that gets us a decent payday. I don't know. We got a long drive ahead of us. That's kind of why I went with the man as well, because it's a long ways to get to the log logging run. Uh, the log cell point on this map is quite a ways down. It's back to our main farm. So, we got a long ways to go. All right. Let's uh, head up the hill and we'll see what we can find for a place to park. Get set up. All right. Up into the logging hills we go. I mean, this is kind of crazy on how steep this is. But we are now in our logging area. Um, there's not a great spot here to do any kind of loading. Oh man, like look at I'm spitting everywhere down here. Can I get up to this side? I'd like to get up to the top if at all possible. Oh man. And then kind of spin it around. Now I don't have a clue if that, uh, that Scania is going to make it up here. Like this is so steep in here. I got no traction. Get back on the road, maybe it'll climb it. Let's take a quick look and see here. Come on, get on up. Get up there. Let's go. 
Yeah, this is going to be a fight. Now, maybe we should start at the top. I think that might be the best bet and then work our way down. Like up here, it's a little bit flatter in this little section right here. And that's kind of what I was thinking about setting up camp. Um, and then this, once we get up top here, this kind of cuts out again in the forest. So it's not a huge forested area. But this here is all kind of public land up by, well, the, the castle, I guess. And uh, I don't know if I can want to head down that road back on out. But that might be an option for us. We'll see. But uh, for now, what I want to do is leave us parked kind of up at the very top here. I think this is where I'm going to set it up for now. I see if I can clear an area out up here. Yeah, I think right at the very top, to be honest, is going to be the safest bet. And uh, we'll see if we can maybe clear an area out here and maybe make it a little bit more hospitable for us to move around in. Get some equipment in and out of. We still need something to grind some stumps with to get rid of the stumps later on, but we'll worry about that when the time comes. All right, we are ready to rock and roll. Let's uh, let's head on out. Watch this trailer as I turn out of here now. Look at the axles all turned on that thing. You just really got to watch that tail end because the whole thing just kind of shifts. If we come back here. It's surprising to watch it when it starts to happen because you see all the axles turn on it and it shifts over the whole thing and it just kind of catches me off guard every time I crank the wheels. The back end swings out really wide on that thing and uh, spots you think you're not going to catch on, you end up doing it. Now I think that's actually an option and I probably chose poorly, but uh, anyways. <laughs> Another good thing, let's take inside the cab. Look inside the cab of this truck. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look, Coca-Cola product placement. I don't know who's been smoking in here, but oh, man. All right. Now, getting around the traffic circle. So we went past the entrance to the logging area already. Let's see if we can spin around, get back on up there. Oh, you're not going to wait, Daria. No, of course not. The roundabout, get on around. You know what? I'm going to go all the way past and then get a straight shot. because Otherwise, I could run into problems. Come on in there. Now this is going to be the fight. Is this going to fit through here? Oh, man. I hope it fits. Oh, no. What am I hitting? What am I hitting? It's, oh, no. That's a bit of a problem. Um, let's see. Can we get up on top here? Uh, come on. Let's see. How far back do I need to go here? I just got that one limb that's kind of sticking out, and it's causing me a little bit of grief. Let's see. Spin around. Oh, come on. Can I reach it? Why can't I reach this? I should be able to reach it, it looks like. No, I can't reach it. I'm not high enough. Okay. Uh, can I jump onto this? Can I climb up on top of it? Oh, I can too. Okay. Plan B. We'll move forward again and see if we can climb up onto the arm of the, uh, is it the buncher? Is that what that's called? And see if that works. Ah, uh, come on, get up here. Where's that branch? Oh, it's on top of it. <laughs> can I get on top of the branch? Oh, that'd be amazing if I can get on top of this. Let's see if I can get on top of the branch. I can't see a thing that I'm doing. Oh, yes, I'm on top of the branch. All right, let's get closer to the tree. Cut her down. And that is how we do that. All right, let's see. If, can we get the truck through now? Let's see if this is going to work. <laughs> I don't believe that actually worked. Oh, man, that's awesome. All right, so we cut that tree off. I'm going to sell or yeah, sell the land back off again. And, uh, yeah, we made our way through the trail. Perfect. So our next real question is, can I get enough speed to climb this hill without crashing? I don't know. Go, 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 go. Get up there. Get up there. Don't let up. Don't let up. Come on. There's no way. No, I am not making it. The Scania does not have it. All right. We're going to have to unload, guys. We are totally stuck. All right. We'll unload the ramps. Ah, we're close enough. At least we got it into the woods. But, man. All right. Can I lift this thing up? Come on. Whoa, easy, 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 easy. Oh, everything's sliding on us. Everything is sliding on us. Okay, there. Oh, holy. It does not want to be out here. All right. Now, can I get this truck out of the way? <laughs> that didn't work out nearly as well as I hoped. Yeah, of course it can. 
we're gonna park this over out here. So this is the main reason I took the truck to take or brought the truck to bring it up here because look at how slow we go in this thing. It's just it's painfully slow. You do not want to have to drive this anywhere. It's just yeah. It's um we don't even have that far to go and it still feels like it's taken forever to get there. Alright, there we go. Getting a little bit of speed now, but man, it's just painful when you're going up hills. Alright, let's go. Come on, get up there. We're almost there. Almost there. Get on up. Alright, so I think we'll start up on the top section. I need to find a spot to make a bit of a clearing so we can drop things. Um, so, yeah, I think this clearing up here, like this, is a little bit of a flat spot. I should be able to knock these trees down. Kind of use this as my kind of flat area to store everything. So if I go down here, it gets pretty steep. And I wouldn't mind working my way down there, but let's start up on this top portion. We'll clear this area out, hopefully, relatively quick. We'll get, there's only a half dozen, maybe 10 trees there. So we can knock those bad boys down, and uh, let's see what happens here. Now, nope, that's not, the, that's not the, the right button. This is the right button. All right, let's see if we can move this thing in. Get her situated. Uh, I think that camera is the best. I don't know. Did I grab it? Do I have it? I don't know if I have it. Oh, now I definitely have it. Okay. So, now if I move it this way, and kind of move it off to the side. Nice. All right. Um, I want to clear it that way there. Now, this thing is going to shoot out at me when I do this. Which way do I want to do that? Um, let's set it right this way here. I think is going to be our best bet. And we'll stack them all right there. But what is our depth set at? So I want about, uh, what do we want? Like eight meters? Let's go with eight meters. I think will be probably a good length. Yeah, let's go with eight and see what happens here. Wow. That's a quick way of doing that, guys. Um, all right, so that's one tree down. Let's go grab our next one. Uh, we got one right behind us here. Let's get this out and clear. Give us a little space to work. All right, let's try that camera again. Spin this around. And extend this. Oh, no, 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 that's not extend. There we go. That's extend right there. Are we on it? I think we're on it. Gotcha. Drag it over this way. Oh, yes. Let's see if I can line that up so it kind of sits in the same spot as those. Come on. And then Bob's your uncle. Do your thing. Oh, that, that stump is in the wrong spot. I'm just realizing that right now. That that stump right on the left there is not in a great spot. And hey, where are you going? You stay put. Don't you dare move. Um, yeah, that stump's not great. I should probably thought about that. But anyways, too late for that now. Too much for too late for regrets. Let's get to work. We've got a couple more trees to knock down here. Uh, bring this back in. Let's grab the one in behind here. Let's go after this one. Yeah, first. Let's knock him down. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay, stay, stay. Steady, steady. Gotcha. Back you up. Stop, stop, stop. And move this over. And can I still move it? I don't think I can. Uh, that'll work. That's going to have to work. Oh, I'm making a mess, guys. I'm making a huge mess here of everything. Oh, bad. All right, so... Uh, I don't know how many. Okay, so we got like eight logs. I don't know. It's going to take us quite a bit to fill this up. I mean, we got... We're going to be able to fill it two and two at least. So I'm going to knock down a ton of trees here. Let me get to work. we got a ton of work still to do. All right, so we are getting well, a decent little supply of logs going here. Um, what do you guys use for the loggers out there? This is, man, I'm not going to claim I know what the heck I'm doing here, guys. But just for organization's sake, um, what do you guys usually use for that? I am so just kind of throwing stuff around here. Like grabbing a log, dragging it back. It's kind of satisfying to do that. Like just bring it here. I'm getting them all kind of stacked here. Unfortunately, I've lost a few down below. I uh, know. Yeah, what do you do? Um, so I'm just kind of bringing them all back in here and then tossing them. Which seems to be a good idea. I don't know yet. We're going to find out once we go to load this stuff up. But uh, I'm going to grab a couple more trees here. Let's grab the one right on the edge. Oh, watch out for that, that stump. Just to uh, make sure that it's not going to cause us any grief. Grab it right there. Not quite. A little bit more. Come on. You know you want it. 
You don't want to eat that. Come on, eat that tree. There we go. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I've been kind of just all loading them there as much as I can. Now, it's so difficult to judge. Like, what's a trailer full worth of logs? Or what's, how much is a trailer full? Is this a trailer full right here? I have no idea. It's, it looks like a lot of logs, but I don't think, like, when I look at the trailer, I'm like, well, it doesn't look like that many logs. So, I don't know yet. I'm going to park this over here, and let's uh, let's get ready and start seeing if we can load this stuff up. We've kind of cleared off a pretty good chunk here, guys. Let me get rid of this. Like, there is quite a big swath we've kind of laid waste to in here. Looks good. Let's, uh, let's get to work on this. All right, now I have forgotten how painful this is. Um... I forgot that this thing is absolutely horrible at actually grabbing logs. Oh, oh, oh. And my driving is definitely suspect as well. Uh, like, it's not even touching it, but it thinks it is. There it goes. Right? All right. That was one log. Um, this thing is just not good at getting underneath logs. I don't know what it is, but I can never grab underneath of them. Let's see if I can get my forks underneath this one here, this bunch. But this is painful. I can get more than one. That would be nice. But yes, it just does not want to go underneath. I, like I, have, to, I have to physically go down and uh, pick these up almost. No, I missed. I missed. I missed. Back it up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Like right here. Like that should be underneath, but it's kind of not. All right. Uh, that's going to do, I think. Let's lower that around it. Let's see what I got here. Well, that's a little bit better than our first run, but still, it's just a real pain for this fork to grab onto. Yeah, now I got one log again. Ah, this thing is just not fun to use. I don't know. What is the best bet, guys, for picking these up? Um, I don't really know. I just, I have no clue on this on this one. This is where I'm out of my realm completely. Uh, am I on the fork? Oh, jeez, I have two. Come on. <laughs> Let's put it like that. Can we open it up? Can you open up? There you go. Come on. Yeah, see, I, I don't want to do this one at a time. This is going to be painful. But I just don't know what else to do with these. What is the best way to pick logs up and put them into the trailer? I don't really have a great answer. I've tried a couple of different things. Like that clamp back there, that's not much fun either. I want, like, a front end loader, I thought, would work good with this kind of a setup. But I don't know of, of a, a clamp that grabs onto the logs very well yet in FS19. And I don't know if we have anything. That works any better. Like, like, this is ridiculous. Can I do this? Let's see how many I can grab if I just kind of stick it down in like this. And now close it. Um. Huh. I don't think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> I mean, come on. How am I supposed to work with this? Like, can I even open it? Like, ugh, these things are just ridiculous. I mean, come on, man. The, the clamp, it sucks. Ah, I'll grab one more here. Like, I just don't know what to do with that, guys. That's ridiculous. I don't know. Is there a better way of doing this? Someone, please, in the comments, let me know what is the best way to load these things. Because, well, I've got a plan B here. And uh, this is not it. <laughs> I was going to try and do this legit. Yeah, that's... Not gonna happen. I'm not gonna load these logs legit. Let's be honest here. Whoa. All right, let's dump this off. And uh, we're gonna do this the right way. Well, not the right way, but we're gonna get this done. Done at least. But this thing does not work. There's no way that that's the best way of doing things. It just, that's the problem is that blunt end. Let me just park this and drop this down. The blunt end on here just does not wanna work the way you'd think it would. It's just such a pain. All right, let's do this the right way. So I think this is going to work. I'm not sure. We'll see. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Oh, yes. That will work just fine. Now, how do we change this size? Where this loads up? Uh, loading position. All right, we're going to move that down to, I don't know, two meters. Let's see if that helps at all. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to make much of a difference. We'll see. Let's just grab uh, one log at a time here. Is it not on? Do I not have it on? Uh, that's off. B. Nope, not far enough. So I need to go back a bit further, I guess. Ah, it's kind of a pain. But 
it's way better than uh, our alternative, I suppose. Uh, let's go to three meters? Sure. That should work a little bit better. Now, I don't know what that's measuring from. If that's like three meters from the front, I don't know. So let's just see what happens here. This is going to be the biggest log we're going to pick up probably right there. Oh, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Oh, man. Okay, we need to go a little bit more than that. So let's see if we can fix this up. Stop. Stop. <laughs> this is what I've got to do to try and fix this problem now. So we need to go to about four meters is what I'm going to guess. Uh, back to four, four meters-ish. There we go. Now, that should load better. Um, I could have taken a lot longer trunks. Maybe we'll do that next time. Ah, oh, no, there we go. Okay, so the last one I got left, I gotta fix that. I'll fix this one here with the telehandler. And quickly just drop this in. Excellent, alright, that still works. Okay, so does, the telehandler works great for fixing that kind of problem. Let's see, look at how much... Oh, we better drop that down, otherwise I'll hear about it, I'm sure. Boom. Um, look how much room we got back here left. So I could go almost those full sticks. I don't even need to, to chop them. I could go a full length next time and not even worry about it, I think. Now, you don't want to be driving forward when you're doing this, or you're going to launch these uh-oh, 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 uh -oh, uh -oh, logs um, all over the map. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we've got them there. Now, can I load some more in further behind? Let's try that. We're going to go to uh, 8 meters. Let's go back to, like, 7. Yeah, let's see right about there and see what happens now. <laughs> I'm going everywhere. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, that one that's stuck through. I don't know if that's going to cause me grief or not when we try to leave this place, but it might. But we're going to be risking it, guys. I want to get as much as I can for this. We'll see. What can I grab? How much money is this going to net me? I mean, it wasn't a lot of work in the grand scheme of things. It's a bit of a pain, but when you're using an autoload trailer like this, um, it's not bad. <laughs> no, like I said, I wanted to do this authentically. I just, there's no way. Like just trying to fight with that thing to load every one of these. Yeah, not gonna happen. All right, guys, there's our trailer. Let's put some straps on this thing. Uh, straps, straps, or the straps. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Um, I would put a ribbon on the back if we had one. That's going to have to do. Let's see what kind of money we're going to get paid out of this. I'm hoping it's going to be good. We better get those lights on because, well, yeah. Uh, oh, no, 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 don't go that way. Oh, man, I do not want to go down that road. All right, let's go this way here. Let's rock and roll. We're going to head over to the sawmill and see what kind of money we make. Yeehaw! Oh bad! Slow her down! Oh no 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 no! Don't see that camera! Back out through the woods and we're clear. <laughs> All right, let's go. Quick trip down the main highway, and we'll be there. Get paid. Hopefully, this gets us some decent money because otherwise, it's just not worth it for me. All right, pulling in right away. Listen to the engine in this thing. It sounds pretty meaty. I'm liking it. Whoa! All right, this is the town turn. Those buildings are the sawmill. I lost that one tree somewhere back there that we had stuck in there. Let's see what we're gonna get paid here. Get our turn indicator on. Nice, all right, sawmill time. Oh man, I hope this is worthwhile, guys. I got everything going wrong everywhere else it looks like right now. Uh, let's see. So what are we gonna get? That is the question. now. Does Oxygen David have any surprise for me that I don't know about here? What does this say? Oh man, it's laggy in here. Uh, does it have anything? Can I see anything? I can't see anything with this. I don't know if that's supposed to mean something. I'm just going to drive in that spot and see what happens. Uh, let's get rid of these. Now please tell me it just comes off, otherwise I'm going to have to lose my mind. I don't see anything happening. Of course not. Ah, oh, man. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. You know what? Oh, is that what it is? I think we got to push the button, don't we? There we go. 30 grand! We got 30,000 bucks for that. Uh, guys, this cost us like a million bucks to get into. Oh, don't throw that. Um, 
a million dollars to get into the logging. And we just got 30 grand. I was expecting at least 100 there. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Oh, man. I mean, yeah, it's better than a kick in the pants, I guess. But 30 grand for a whole truckload of wood. Didn't we get that from straw or from sawdust or wood chips? I mean, uh, yeah, definitely not worth it. I don't think it's worth it at all. No. Anyways, guys, if you got any hints, tips, or logging tricks that I should know about, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. But that is going to do it for us today. I don't know. I'm going to go cry in a corner, I think, about my logging expedition here. That wasn't great. Um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys next time. This is Clutch. Over and out. Mm -hmm.